What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. That's all. Is that how I talk? Are you? Yeah. No, that was me. That was my intro. What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to the channel. Do we have a good lineup of videos coming your guys' way? Currently, I'm on the ice in Luke's homemade trailer conversion into like an ice castle check it out so there's the man the myth the legend luke uh don't mind the mess we just got in here so it's super embarrassing but anyways we got some holes back here the sofa where, where we were just sitting i don't know why it started so bad spare tire some lights that are flexing come over here luke's got a little candle there got the xbox got the pizza hut finna nut a little tv oh yeah this is looking mighty fine besides the huge mess. Mess, yeah. All right, Luke, can you explain to the folks like what we're sitting in right now and what you did to this bad boy? All right, well, but pretty much this is a uh, 8x16 enclosed trailer, just like a basic enclosed trailer to haul your four-wheeler, toys, toy hauler, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, I bought this thing this year, and I pretty much ripped all the wood off the walls. Uh, there was nothing on the ceiling, so I insulated the walls, ceiling, everything is insulated. Uh, put everything back on, of course, put this ceiling paneling up, which is nice and warped now, but don't look at that. And then I threw a rooftop vent in here um, for just an air vent in this trailer, which is covered with styrofoam, as you can see, for the winter. And then these were just wheel wells. So I built boxes around these suckers. Uh, these have insulation in them, so the wheel wells are insulated. Uh, pretty much did everything. Couch in here, futon. Uh, in the front up here, you got a furnace. This is like the same furnace that they put in the ice castles. It's a suburban furnace, like an RV furnace. And then I got the old Rubbermaid fast tracks up with some random hooks just to hang our crap and get the clutter out of the way, which, as you can see, all this clutter, it's not working very well. You come up to the front, I got a couple shelves up here, and uh, we got the Keurig, and then I got the pizza oven in here, the Keurig K-Cups in the stand. Flex. And then up top here, we got the old charging station. <laughs> it looks got like a, a mess, bro. A power block with like 50 cords on <laughs> it, but it'll charge anything you got. All right, then we got the TV, as John already showed you, the Xbox. We got power ran back here on a strip. And uh, pretty much everything except a trailer that cranks down to the ice. So right now, we're sitting about 16 inches to the floor uh, that we have to reach down and grab our fish. So as you can see over here, well, I already drilled that. I'm not pulling that up. But I had to kind of ghetto rig hole sleeves. So this is how high we are off the ice. This sits on the bottom, and this is our floor. So that's how high the trailer is off the ice right now. And I kind of jerry-rigged two hole sleeves for our holes. It works, and it wasn't that expensive. So as you guys can see, Luke's put a lot of work into this. Uh, he filmed a whole video converting it, and it'll be linked down below in his channel. You can check it out if you want to. This is definitely the cheap route instead of buying like a $70,000 ice castle. I wouldn't say we're roughing it by any means, but this is definitely more budget friendly and we're gonna see how it handles the ice this weekend. I'm up here for about three or four days right before Christmas trying to get some content for you and I also have another surprise for you. So let's step out here and check out the old surprise that I have for you guys. It's gonna be windy, so rip to the audio. So you come out here, this is what his trailer looks like. It's literally just an enclosed trailer. Got the old Yeti right there. And then he has a generator back there, if you guys can see that. And he's still hooked up to his Escalade. So there's the Escalade. What the Sam hell? Why is this out here? Oh yeah, boys, I brought the van. So a lot of you have been asking for me to bring the van on the ice, and this is pretty much kind of like the only time I'm gonna be able to bring it out here because as the months go on and the snow continues to fall, it's gonna be harder and harder to get this bad boy out here because believe it or not, this does not have four wheel drive. I have no clue. This has a V8, a bigger engine than my Tacoma, but for some weird reason, there's no four wheel drive. So I only have two wheel drive uh, in the rear. And if you guys know what I'm talking about, it's gonna be impossible once there's like a foot of snow out here. So we're out here right now with it because it's accessible at the time. And I am gonna be doing some camping inside my bad boy. Oh, I just broke the van. As well as some fishing in Luke's homemade trailer. So this series is gonna be a mixture of van camping, of ice fishing, of camping in Luke's homemade trailer, 
and we're gonna be going out with my guy again in the snow bear. So be expecting some awesome content and it wouldn't be possible without you guys. So I just wanna take the time and tell you guys thank you so much for making uh, this my full-time job because not very many people can say, yo, I'm gonna go camp on a van on Red Lake for my job. We got here kind of late tonight. I was gonna camp in here, but since it's so late, I'm not gonna camp in here. It's just gonna be too much of a mess. Tonight, I'm gonna sleep inside of Luke's trailer, do some fishing, do some cooking maybe, and then fish all day tomorrow and camp in this son of a gun tomorrow evening. For those of you that don't know, this is my van. It's a conversion van that was converted into kind of like a camper. You guys seen a lot of videos in the summer with me and Lindsay driving around and just doing the unthinkable in this thing. That sounded weird. You guys get what I'm saying, but I thought I might as well bring it on the ice and do some ice camping. So in the front, that's what it looks like. I brought this little heater to keep me warm and some of you are gonna be like, you're gonna die of carbon dioxide poisoning. Well, number one, the new Buddy Flex, it shuts off if it detects uh, too much carbon dioxide. Also, I have a vent that can push air out. So I might have that running uh, when I'm sleeping in here. We've got the sink, we got some random gloves in there, the cold brews, and then this is the bed. It looks nice. And just some random paraphernalia laying in here. So that's the general gist of this series. Uh, pause the video, like the video, cause it's gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna go back in here, get warm, get my fishing stuff set up and let's catch some fish. All right guys, we're all set up finally and I'm gonna start jigging tonight. I'm gonna use my Frostbite Drench. It's a 36 inch medium light. Good jigging rod for walleyes. And then I got my rattle reel right where you guys are. Luke has his line alarm right uh, to the left of you guys. And then he also is gonna have his line alarm right there. Live scope right here. I'm jigging with the Frostbite Dinner Bell. You can check this out in the link below. A lot of you are always ask me like, what's a good walleye bait? This is definitely the walleye killer. This is a medium size and this is the new color as of this year. It's like white with some pink in there and then a blue second blade. Tipped it with the minnow head, fishing about 14 feet of water, which is pretty deep for Red Lake. And we've already seen some marks. Uh, it's the night bite now, so we're gonna see if we can get some of these to commit. The pro we're probably gonna mark a lot and not catch a lot just cause that's the report I've been hearing, but maybe since no one has been fishing around this area, we're like the only people out here, we could potentially get on a super good bite. And that would make myself and Lucas very happy. So you guys stay tuned, let's make something happen. Whoa, what is this suspended mark? Oh, he's, your line alarm is about to go off. That's which big, one? Dude, looks like a crappie. That's a crappie, it's a big, big ass crappie. Which pool? No, no, okay, wait, wait. Just which pool? Wait, just wait. On, on, right there, yep. Dude, Does he have that's it? a big mark. Does he yeah. have it? I, I don't know, that's a big mark. It's a big mark. Oh, dude, oh, dude. I'm gonna reel up, I'm gonna reel up. Reel up. Yep. Luke's got a big one on. I'm gonna try to land it for him. I think it, the hook set was big. Yeah, it, the mark looked big on there. This is the first time we're ever gonna land a oh, fish dude, here, dude. boys. Hang on. Did it came off? Yes. Oh, dude. What? Did it snap? I think it was a crappie, bro. No, it, that was big, dude. I saw the mark and it oh was giant. Oh my, I know. So it looked like a dinner plate and then all of a sudden it got the body of a walleye. And this is a... Dude, that's a heavy oh rod. God. This thing was this thing was bent like that's that. That's a heavy rod, dude. Well, I just did Rip, it. Dude. I literally just started the fishing section and we're already, get, already getting some action. Rip. It is currently... Dude, that thing was big. Oh yeah, it was big. It's seven, so this is about when like it starts to go off. So stay tuned. All right, so Luke just lost that fish and we're freaking hungry. So we're gonna test Luke's, uh, what is that? A, what is that called? It's well, not a, it's a, a toaster, toaster oven. oven I think. Yeah, okay, well, toaster. we're gonna test Luke's toaster oven. Uh, have you ever tried using it in this? Not, no, I haven't done anything. Actually. All right, so that's why Luke's getting the fire extinguisher prep, just in case <laughs> something bad goes happened. Uh, something bad happens. Stay tuned, but we're making pizza rolls. Should we just make them all? Oh yeah. Those should cook evenly. Well, we didn't blow up, so we'll take that as a win. These things cook super fast, dude. We're gonna load this plate up with pizza rolls and absolutely house these things because I have not really ate today. Well, I can't believe you actually like I caught you out of the old peripheral, yep. and I'm like, 
Is she really eating that? That's so hot, <laughs> That's dude. burning hot, yeah. It's really hot. You know what would cool it down? What? Mustard. We shall. Mine's half full, right. and I was gonna fill up with JR's, but. Oh, that was you. This was going a second ago, kind of. I feel something, yep. Got him. Got it? Yep. Feels like a walleye. Sheesh! Look at that! First fish of the night and the first fish ever Dude, how landed. Dang, you're gonna catch the first fish. <laughs> I'm in sorry, the trip. bro. No, I'm that's sorry. lit. This is probably gonna be a good under to keep. It is. Um that's a nice looking fish right there. We'll get the bump board out and check it. Oh, perfect under boys. 16 inch or under. That's gonna fry up nice. Both of my poles do have the right hooks on now. So Ooh. Hooky, that is a fish. Oh! Now my no. drag's too loose. Dude, I hate this oh. pole. Bro, I'm putting my minnow down here and there's a fish on me right now and I'm just holding my line. Dude, look at this. Did you just smoke it? Oh, dude, it just smoked my hand. What? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Boy, no way. No it's, way. It's small, but yeah. What? There he goes. It was bro, tiny. It was like how, a 12 inch. Bro, how many fish should you have right now, though? There he is. Bro, we literally. This is insane right now, Luke. We can't keep a freaking rod down. Want me to grab him? You got it. It's not that big. Luke's hooked up, boys. Dude, this is absolutely absurd right now. I'm gonna flip him. Woo! First fish, buddy. It's all going down right now. As soon as I sat down to get the pizza rolls, I caught that on the rattle reel. Luke's line alarm's gone off like 10 bazillion times. It is mayhem right now, boys. We are, the wallies are hungry. Yeah, this is insane. Is this where I put my tuned up down? God dang it, dude. I literally cannot eat my pizza rolls, boys. I've had one. Look, it's ripping. It's ripping. Oh my God. Go, go, it's go. Ripping. Hold on, I have my camera set up. This thing is ripping. Dude, it's like out of line. Oh my God. I think I waited too long. Wait. I waited too long. What the <laughs> heck? Dude? It was spooling me, boys. Mine dropped me. Oh, dude, he's going after it so hard, though. On the live scope. Here we go, here we go. Hold up, let me see if I can double. Oh, there's one on me too. Oh, mine went away. Is it a good eater? Yeah. Hey, playing zombies, got the old Xbox working. And uh, Luke, oh, dude, that's a good one. John's rattle reel is going off, finally. I don't know if he's still there. Got him. Little. A little guy. Oh, there he goes. You're tiny. See you later. Okay, bye. He was like the size of my pee pee. It's, it, that's coming right at me, dude. It's on you. It's all over you. Oh, dude, it's got it. It's got it? Yeah, ready? Yep. Nice. Ooh, it, it's decent. Is it good? Decent. It's not tiny. Oh, is he wrapped up in that? I don't know. You got another one. Luke got one, but my rattle reel is starting to go off, maybe. Oh, he dropped Wait. Did it, it dropped it? Oh, right off his mouth, dude. 
Oh, right out of his schnoz. No. His schnoz. Yeah, Johnson. Luke. Got, we, we, we were marking two walleyes there for a little bit, and one of them came and murked Luke, and then the other one came to this rattle reel. He had it, but he must have not had it all the way. Yanked it right out of his mouth, gosh darn it. I have one. Little. Got it? Yeah, it's little. Yeah, baby. Tiny guy. Bro. We're getting, we we're just getting had a nice two. group come in, Luke man. just had one, and then this little guy came and slammed me. Bro, on my carpet? That's Versace. And this is the last time Mindak Outdoors ever fishes with Broken Wing. Well, here's my little guy right here. I'm gonna toss him back down to the drink. And we're marking a lot of fish right now, and we've been hearing a lot of bad reports about red. But guys, don't always fish by the cities. You need to venture out from the cities and fish the outskirts, or just find fresh ice. That's kind of like the big key. Is uh, you know all those fish get so pressured in those cities, and once you know all those fish have seen all those baits, like the likelihood of them rolling through there and biting is super slim. So get away from people and find fresh ice. Oh, now there's a fish on you. You're, you're getting murked. You're getting murked right now. Can you start this little camera for me? You're getting destroyed. He has it. I am. Oh, look at that hook set. Sheesh. This is a nicer one. Okay. You might have to grab this. I shall grab it. Nice fish, Luke. It's a good fish, bro. Nice. Well, Luke just caught that one. Uh, we were messing around, and then I looked down, I'm like, okay, now there's actually a fish on your, your rod. And I watched it on the live scope. That thing just took it first take. You sent it on the hook set, too. Yeah. That was nice. Your rod was absolutely bent. But this night's been pretty good. I mean, I know we haven't landed that many fish, uh, but we've been getting a lot of action, and it's been a fun night. I should probably guess that. Ooh, look, Bookie. Oh. Got him. Small. Getting a little bit bigger. Nope, just small. Oh, good walleye. Little guy right there. Luke and I are watching some uncut angling. And what do you know? Walleye decides to bite. Back down to the resource, buddy. See ya. Back this down the 40 foot tube, baby. Ooh, a little fish under me. And I mean, this thing, oh, he might actually, oh yeah, he has it, he has it. Does he though? He does have it. <laughs> hey. And he is tiny. Perch! Why are we catch a perch right now? Boys, I'm absolutely cracked tonight on G Fuel. I'm snorting it. <laughs> Line alarm fish? Mm. <laughs> what did I just say? I didn't see what it. did I just say? That was on camera. Bro, that was on camera. What did I just say, dude? No way I just called that. Bro. You did. No way. I just called that. <laughs> Sheesh, Bob. Dude, that was so funny. That was pretty funny. I want to like watch the video back and see like how fast that happened. Because oh, I feel like it was instantly, but. It felt like it. It's been a little slow. We had this guy come through on the live scope and uh, you heard John say line alarm fish and pretty much instantly smoked it. Another fish. Is that you? Mm. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just get eat? Yeah, what the heck, dude? Yeah. <laughs> what the heck just happened? I thought he was froze on the sleeve. No, bro, you got murked, dude. Apparently. Well, I missed a fish, and then it's it, not bad. it came it's back. Not bad. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to land this. Hold on, guys. I know. Yeah, that's a good. Hope that's a good under. It's not bad. It's a great under, dude. Yeah, it is. Here's Luke's fish that he just caught. Uh, it was probably the one that I just had hooked on. And then I saw, I, I put the live scope back down. I'm like, holy crap. It looks like he demolished your bait, bro. Luke thought his line was caught on the uh, the bottom of the hole, but it, it, was, it was this guy. 
Well, time check. It is 1.50 in the morning. It is time to go to bed. We got our lines down and maybe we'll catch something tonight. Luke, what'd you think about the first night? Dude, it was great. Yeah, so let me show you what we got going on for the evening or the rest of tonight. Luke's gonna lay in his bougie thing over here. He's gonna have these two holes to man. And in these holes, we have the old undercover attachments and then the line alarm. And then attached to that is a rod. So he's got these two things to worry about. And then we'll turn them this way. Well, first of all, charging stuff, apps. This is just a freaking train wreck, Luke. Actually, the whole trailer right now is just looking oh, like yeah, in shambles. Oh, yeah, we have stuff everywhere. Yeah, it's not good. We've got camera stuff in the middle. And then this is the futon that I'm going to lay on. Uh, we, it's It doesn't look pretty, but it's going to work for the evening. More charging stuff up there. And I got these two holes. So right here, I have my trusty rattle reel, which has actually been clapping today. It's going to be easy for me to just, like, literally turn over there and start yanking on a fish. Over here, we got another undercover and line alarm. But we're gonna get some sleep here and hopefully you'll see us clap some fish. Good night guys. 328 AM still going off though Luke caught a fish dad it's like three in the morning dude oh, that one's going up too yeah what the heck I don't know there's I, no way there's a fish on these right I don't know all right well I caught a fish I'm gonna rebate this and go back to bed one hour later just woke up to the rattle reel. Freaking jumbo perch. Look at that thing. I think it's huge. Nice fish though. The next morning. I'm just watching TikToks and I look over and my rod's like in the in the freaking water. Is it on the line alarm even? No, I'm jigging. Oh really? Yeah, on the dinner bell poise. Dang. That is funny. That's a good fish, dude. Oh, good morning. It's uh currently about eh 8.30ish or so. And I just whacked a good one here. Ain't nothing like waking up to some whale eyes in bed. Look at that beautiful one. I'm gonna measure him. If he's like 18 and a half or so, I'm gonna keep him as my over. Oh, it is. Well, I just measured it, and this is a 18 inch walleye. This will be my over, perfect for the grease. Let's go ahead and start the marining. Oh, now that's going off too. Oh, God. All right, now this is going off too. Got, got another one. Oh my gosh, boys. What's going on? 
Oh, come here. Come here. And that's going to be probably another under for me. <laughs> Dude, I'm going off right now. <laughs> Chill, bro, I was literally just trying to. Uh, I didn't wake up. Yeah, I was trying to bleed that other walleye real quick. All of a sudden, rattle reels start going off, and this is gonna be an under for me. Oh my gosh! Perfect 15 incher, and just like that, I got two walleyes on the ice. Three hours later. Well, just a little update for you guys. It is currently 10, 11. It's pretty much 11 o'clock and haven't gotten a bite since those first two walleyes in the morning at around eight. It was hot and heavy right there. Nothing since then, been marking a lot of fish. It looks like a lot of perch. I haven't seen a walleye in a while, but off camera, Luke and I have been doing some work. Okay, we went outside. We continue to bank in the whole son of a gun. We unhitched it from his trailer, put it on some blocks, and we just took care of a lot of business outside. For your guys' information, it is super, super cold outside, like single digits, check it out. Step back, be gentle, be gentle. Sheesh, it's cold out here, boys. There's the van, there's the ice. Look what we did, we banked that all in. There's oh, our walleyes. Dude, there's people in our freaking area. That's why we're not catching any fish. What the hell, why'd they come and follow us? Dang it! But that's the update, uh, it's been slow. People are starting to come by us. Luke's doing weird stuff. We're just gonna cook some burritos right now, I think, and then try to catch some fish. Dude, I'm gonna have to take a doo-doo after this. Bob well, homies, there's our lovely breakfast burritos. These are gonna be scorching. Probably should wait a second. Dude. Every time you eat something that I've been fishing with you this year, yep. every time we make anything that's hot, you bite into it right away burning hot. Mm. The fish, last night with the pizza rolls, this, well, the pizza. Dude, I just get so hungry, I'm like, ah! I hope you put that in there. Mm. But for real though, you're good. Hope the fish like the burritos. Oh, it's a shame that we have a little Xbox to play some Call of Duty. That does suck. Unfortunately, we don't have enough Wi-Fi out here or service to do hotspot. So the only thing we can do is play offline and play like bots and play against each other on split screen. And maybe a little bit of zombies, but it's still fun nonetheless, just being on the ice, fishing, and trying to kill some people in Call of Duty. Where is you, Luke? Oh. Today, Johnny Sins. Well, guys, I just got done getting my cheeks clapped by Luke and Call of Duty. I was just sniping, though. All right, if I had picked up a different gun, probably would have won, but I wanted to make it somewhat fair. He's rolling his eyes right now. <laughs> but I'm going to end this video and start the next video in this series, which is going to be the camping in my van video. You guys want to stay tuned because it's going to drop down to sub zero weather tonight i don't know if i'm gonna survive but if you guys want to see how that ends up stay tuned there's gonna be more videos from this trip as well also i believe this video is gonna go up right before christmas so if you're watching this have a very merry christmas from myself and sam and i hope you guys have an awesome holiday thanks for watching today's video we did a lot of ice camping uh fishing eating and playing some video games obviously so it was really cool hanging out in this shack but i'm getting off topic thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you on the next one yeah, baby! Yeah! Yeah, baby! Yeah!